Hello world, I'm LJ and this is LJ Go Sweden. Today it's time to recap the Tesla test drive day in Leipzig with my friends. Wow! I already thought it's going to be a cool day when I knew that my friends were yeah, driving Teslas for the first time in their life and then it all became even better when I had the chance to test drive a Model S for the first time. But first of all, let's start in the morning. You saw that in yesterday's video where I was at the charger doing the recap of the last days. Well, I was there charging a bit because going from here where my parents live to Leipzig and also picking up a friend somewhere, not directly in the middle of the way, but like doing like a detour. Yeah, it was just necessary to get a bit of charge in the car. Then I picked him up. Ah, a bit too late. It was kind of a longer distance to the train station than I expected, but I picked him up. We arrived around like 9.50 in Leipzig at the parking garage. And then we wanted to meet up with the other friend that was already coming with the train from Dresden to Leipzig. And he had booked a test drive of a Model 3. And the other friend that I picked up has booked a test drive of a Model Y at 11 a.m. And in Sweden, it was only possible to test drive a car for 30 minutes. However, here, they basically told us like, yeah, if you test drive the car two, three hours, that's okay. Bring it back like at 1 p.m. or something like that. They said, first, the Model 3 test drive. Of course, I cannot speak for my friends, but I really think they enjoyed it. And they were also not like too negative about only having this one screen in center. And also with the Model 3, of course, having the blinkers. It is definitely something that you have to get used to. My friend also, like, of course, drove on the Autobahn, accelerated to 200. And it was still crazy how loud and how noisy the car gets with the air going around the car at 200. Then we brought back the car, close after 11, picked up the Model Y. Now it's Model Y time. And Again, drove basically the same route to the Autobahn, accelerated the Model Y also to the maximum. And also for your interest, the Model 3 they gave us was the long range version. So 4.4 seconds to 100. And then unfortunately, we only got the rear wheel drive version of the Model Y. So the slowest Tesla that exists with 7 seconds to 100. But still, I think my friend had a good time with the acceleration. One thing that was also pretty cool is that the cars, of course, had all the full self-driving things that are allowed in Europe. And now the cars can also park themselves. And it was so impressive to see the car park in this parking garage. I cannot complain. Like, it really looked cool. And I was like, oh man, I think I should buy it. But why should I? There is no reason for me to buy the parking feature because... Most of the parking I do in Sweden, there is no difficulty in them. So why should I buy it? And of course it is fun and it definitely is cool to try it out. But uh, 3000 euros or something like this, that's just not worth it now. I really think when the EU allows the full self-driving that we see in America, in Europe, then I will just buy the whole package, which is like, what is it, 7800, something like this. And then I have all the features and then, yeah, I will definitely do a lot of testing. But who knows how long this is going to take. But already before we drove with the Model Y, I talked with one of the guys working at Tesla and asked him about the Model S that was parked there in the parking garage. And I said, like, is there a possibility to also test drive the Model S? And he said, like, oh, yeah, you can test drive it. It is just not on the website. It is more like on request and he said like do you want to test drive it and I was like really connecting with him because he also was really hyping up Tesla I'm hyping up Tesla and then we came back after the Model Y tour and we came in there and the guy also said like do you have some time and I said like yeah sure I have time well can you bring the car to the supercharger and fill it up and I was like oh yeah thank you very much I do that of course no problem so he gave us the car key and then I took the driver's seat in the Model S, it was not the plaid version, it was the slow one with 700 horsepower and 0 to 100 in 3 seconds or something like that. And holy 
smokes is that crazy like i was really really <laughs> surprised how fast that thing is and it also feels really like you're driving something more valuable but i also have to say that i don't like the interior it had like some dark brownish wood and the steering wheel was huge in comparison to the one on the model 3 that i'm driving so i think i would never buy such a car because it also steers very different but the acceleration is hilarious especially when you have other people in the car and they just don't expect it they're like bam neck first into the seat it's hilarious and then i drove on the autobahn i accelerated 100 to 200 in i don't know like six seconds and i also tried out the track strip mode so the battery is heating up to give the maximum performance and then you go somewhere on a straight road and then you activate this mode where the, where the front of the car is going down to the street and then you just let go zero to 100 <laughs> it is so crazy but there are a few videos from the model s test drive but not from this drag strip mode but check them out yourself okay guys because probably no one is going to believe me that we have a model s that we just test drove through here through Germany, we have driven a Model 3, a Model Y, and now a Model S in Leipzig. Holy moly, and the acceleration, it's just crazy. It's like three seconds from zero to 100. What a world we're living in. Oh man. Ah, come on, I know. Ah, come zwei. They are way too slow. And now, <laughs> are you ready? One hundred to two hundred. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Uh -huh. One hundred ten. One hundred seven. One hundred ten. Half. Okay, let's go. One hundred forty. One hundred sixty. One hundred seventy. One hundred eighty. One hundred ninety. Two hundred. <laughs> Holy shit, man! Sick. That is that's what sick. So that was my test drive day with friends. I really cannot complain. It was a cool experience. Unfortunately, they did not have any Model X because it would be awesome to just say like we have test driven each Tesla that is available there but in my opinion really really amazing day okay but now enough said i hope you guys had a wonderful day if you have time and you want to have some fun just test drive a tesla see if you like it enjoy the acceleration and yeah until then i hope you had a wonderful day we're going to see each other in tomorrow's video bye bye